So aloha and welcome to Living Your Design, an awakening program uh, with John Martin, <laughs> which is almost hard for me to say these days. And, and you'll understand why in a second, because I'm really just this character that's watching what John Martin's up to. And he's always up to something pretty much no good. And uh, he's always challenging someone or, you know, whatever. But guys, this is my art. And, and it is my, you know, it's what the art that I practice and I love it so dearly. You know, I've been doing free stuff since the beginning, you know, and I understand that human design has become part of the spiritual marketplace and gotten lost in a lot of areas of, you know, self-help to ways to make money. I mean, I, I do get it. This program is really, you know, I want to just invite you into a different way of seeing what human design really is. I mean, it is, in essence, just step by step, self-verifying for yourself that you're not doing any of this, none of it. And any thought to the contrary is called, <laughs> is the beginning of the sentence called suffering. <laughs> now it takes a while to get with that. The other thing I really want you to, you guys to get, if you can, is you'll hear me talk about the hero's journey a lot. I mean, I talk about the hero's journey a lot, and, and more and more I'm starting to see that this is truly the, her, the human journey. And human design happens to be one of the most incredible tools on the planet for this, okay? I mean, it is truly, you know, about becoming aware of Maya and her illusion. And, and I'll explain that more in, in a second. But having a little reflective moment as I'm you know, prone to do this morning. <laughs> I, I was, uh, or last night or whatever, my mad mind was doing whatever it was doing. You know, I was thinking, I was like, God damn it, I used to do this at a picnic table at the beach. <laughs> I didn't have a staff of elves running around helping me. I didn't, I didn't have stupid people building me studios. I sure wasn't talking to the world. And the most beautiful thing about what I'm say, going to say here today and what you're going to get from me is that only those that of you that can really hear me are going to hear me anyway. The rest of you are going to keep on just running along, going and trying to get whatever you think you want. So this is an awakening program. I'm here to help you verify. Not only do you not have a choice, you never had one. <laughs> so let's get going. Now, your guide, <laughs> this character, you know, I, I, I kept the name John Martin in honor of the thing that got destroyed in this process. I mean, you know, John Martin used to be a very cool guy and very attached to all of his whatever, too. So please don't think that uh, you guys are the only ones that uh, suffer under the weight of thinking you know who you are. Guys, you know, Here's the funny thing. I mean, you get to see me and meet me as this kind of joyous monk on the on the surface, you know, I mean, this joyous carried away, you know, uh, whether or not I totally get it and I'm really at a place of inner peace or I'm so deluded, it's the same fucking thing. It doesn't matter. But this is who my mind thinks I am. OK. And over there, there is, you know, this is the conscious side of design and this is what everybody is getting screwed up in. I want you to, go, to return to the red, guys. This is the life. This is the bio form. And I'm gonna hit you two or three times with the difference between the red and the black today, okay? I mean, the red is just flying through space in a straight line. Mine is here to challenge everything. I'm here to kill the weak in order to protect the strong. And God help you if you start get in my way or try to fuck with my trip because you're going to meet something you don't want to meet, man. It's gnarly. I mean, it scares me when that force comes out of me. So, you know, at first, understand what you're inviting. Yes, I can have you laughing at how stupid you are. Yes, it's one of my gifts. But um, in essence, dude, I can't, you know, I don't suffer fools. I don't have a lot of weak people around me. You know, I mean, you've got to find your own warrior spirit here or this is not the right dojo for you. OK, and I'm teaching awareness mechanic, the human design mechanics, all the bric-a-brac you guys are getting lost in. Most of you. 
very, I've almost forgotten that stuff. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. Now, when you combine them, you know, here comes the illusion that I exist, okay? When they combine, they come up with this character named John Martin, okay? And who is like this? I mean, as far as I'm concerned right now, guys, I'm just talking to space, okay? I want you to get that. Um, I'm hiding. <laughs> In my mind, <laughs> see how deluded I am? <laughs> In my mind, I'm just, I'm, there's no one here, uh, you know, and God help me when I find out, or if I find out, how many people actually were here. Um, I'm here to challenge everything and everybody in order to perfect my form, and I will fucking survive, guys. I have so many survival stories where I have barely survived something that happened serving just a few days ago. I mean, it wasn't a life or death, but it was definitely a, it could have easily been the hospital situation. Uh, and my body took over. I knew exactly what to do. And, you know, another friend of mine, many friends of mine have been hospitalized at the exact same piece of reef. <laughs> <laughs> and my body took over and I survived, dude. And, and, you know, now I stand here and share, okay? But that's also, you know, what's happening to me, you know, every day, you know? And, and what I'm really up against is the mind of man and what people think they think. It, it's exhausting, okay? And I mean, get the joke, guys. I'm here to challenge everyone. I, mean, I couldn't behave if I had to. I have no idea what I'm fucking saying. I mean, if any of you that do understand some of these mechanics can see that my grace is found in my lack of grace. And if shit's going to get settled with me, it's going to get settled through conflict. So best if you just leave Mr. 6-2 projector alone. Now... One of the really beautiful things also in my reflective period, you know, as I got ready to do this was, you know, how I went on to the roof. And as a six line being, there's a very special, you know, kind of trigram life. You have a three part type life. And, you know, I came into human design right at that time. Okay. Right about 30. Okay. And uh, I'm 48 or something now. <laughs> and, and, and I, it's 17 years or so. Okay. Um, that I've actually been on the roof, okay? So, you know, this started organically in Kauai, you know, me doing it at a picnic table where I was actually teaching surfing and kite surfing more than I was teaching, you know, I mean, I was learning human design because I was all fucked up, okay? And I've been up here for the last 17, 18, yeah, 17 years or so, we're crossing that number sometime in here. I'm not real good with dates and times anymore, but... But guys, really right now, I'm really just the thing that's watching John Martin wondered what his dumb ass is going to get into next, okay? And apparently, I'm going to be broadcasting human design for the planet because I cannot take a stand to see what's happened to it. I, I don't look out there. I never do. I can't, okay? But, you know, as a guide, man, if you come to me, I mean... You know, I, I'm not sitting there answering your questions, man. I'm going right for the root of what the fuck is going on with you. I will rip it out of your chest and I go and hold it up and go, you mean this cancerous piece of shit right here? Yeah, I know exactly what's going on. And then I can logically, you know, give you some, some things to work with. But just in a frequency, I only need two or three words to know exactly where someone's at, okay? But even in speaking, it seems like I'm doing that. I'm not doing any of this, guys. And anybody that thinks they are is, is trying to sell you something they don't got. I mean, this is doing me. I'm flying through space like a space cowboy in a 12-foot bubble going, <laughs> what the fuck's going on? And anyone that doesn't have their same version of that, well, I like the term ass talkers. <laughs> So again, here we go, guys. The red, the bioform, the life, the 10 million things you couldn't even name, much less <laughs> regulate simultaneously going on in your body. That's what I'm trying to get you connected to. Your life is a straight line. Even the thought that you're having a problem, guys, you thinking you have a problem, that's the fucking problem. It's all perfect. 
piece by piece, we can verify this. But what's happening is, you know, before death, it was printed. The stop date is written. You know, if I could tell you the date and time you're going to die, you guys would probably, you know, <laughs> get a little bit more serious about what the hell is going on here. But as you'll see in a moment, even this is not a choice, guys. And if you're here to, today to hear what I have to say, you know, maybe, maybe. But really, if this, if human design is for you, okay, and not just some mental exercise for you, if human design is really here for you, the best thing, the only thing I can help you do is relax in the bubble that's flying down a track in a straight line. Relax and help you come to grips with, oh my God, I'm not doing it. And then there is a cognitive mutation that can actually be measured from thinking you're doing it to knowing you're not. It's what we call passenger consciousness. And what you're about to see when I get a little further in here is the red's going one direction with the black part of you thinking it's going another. So on the best day, you're fucking lost. And that's before we start with the conditioning and everybody else's mind. And I'm just talking about if I could clean you up today, your mind would still be clueless. And that's why this is an experiment in body consciousness. And it's also why most people won't be able to get it. All their beliefs, all their ideas, and all their baggage, they're dragging it along with them, like wearing a snowsuit, trying to mountain bike. Man. I mean, it's just fucking trash. But you're hurling down that track at 150 some odd thousand miles an hour and you have been for the last 15 billion years. So which fucking part do you think you're in charge of, guys? Really? I mean, please take that for a moment and really try to get that. All I'm trying to help you get here is your 12 foot bubble so you can get beyond your mind. So you can truly quit worrying about your lives, your relationships and everything else. And become witness to your life, aware, self-verified, believe no one, especially your own stupid mind. I know I'm going the right direction when my mind's freaking out. My mind's freaking out right now. This is where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> it's also having fun, but you know. So where did all this nonsense come from? Guys, I'm not going to spend too much time here, but in 1987, late February, the first supernova that could be viewed by humans with the naked eye you know, exploded, showering, you know, the entire planet with a new, with neutrino field. Neutrinos are actually stardust, star particles carrying information, okay? It created a potential mystical experience for the entire planet. Now, here's the joke, guys. Humans are the only ones that have what we call self-reflected consciousness. We're the only ones that can think that we think. So we've got the cognitive architecture to <laughs> create that suffering for ourselves. You'll notice that your cat is not suffering. You know, if I could remove your neocortex, it'd be basically the same thing. But even beyond that, you know, we got about seven and a half extra billion people on the planet right now. And... Um, what basically happened is every human got downloaded with a zip file. It was like a virus. And it is actually here to destroy the illusion of you thinking you think. Okay, I want you to start to think of human design like a virus. And yes, Ra had an 80-day encounter with a voice and it showed him and told him and oh my God, the stuff it told him. But guys, he was the messenger. The messenger, it does not mean he understood the entire message. He beat on his desk and said the exact same things, okay? I don't care what fucking Ross said. I care a lot about what you say. Once you've had this experience and you've gone through your process, then we can talk about maybe talking about what some of these mechanics mean because right now, they're just what somebody said to you. And then your mind's taking that and going and doing whatever, okay? And yeah, I mean, the amount of information and the correlations and the amount that he got right, you know, I'll excuse him for the fuzzy-wuzzy areas where he went off, off, off 
<laughs> off of it. You know, I mean, you know, I'd dig him up and hit him with a shovel for the reading he did for me, but you know, that's my joke with him. I'm coming for you, brother. You said it. It's on tape that I'd be coming for you. You just died before I could. <laughs> That I was going to challenge him and then God, you know, and since God doesn't exist, I'll stick with him. Um, human design reveals that this stardust, okay, I mean, you know, I don't want to get all airy-fairy, but basically it is the breath of stars. is penetrating everything. It, I forget how many millions per centimeter, you know, at every second of every day. It would take a block of lead bigger than the universe to stop one of these things. I mean, truly. So those of you that think you're clearing your space or blocking, you know, I'm sleeping in a king, you know, I'm, guys, you're not stopping shit, okay? <laughs> so, so get that part clear. It also shows that all bioforms, all living organisms from, you know, a single cell right to the human body have an imprint, okay? And it is is where the stars were and these electrical impulses carrying information, turning on uh -huh, the 61, you know, 26 of the 64 potential activations of the codon of your DNA, which strangely correlate exactly to the 64 hexagrams of the I Ching, which is one of the oldest books on the planet, <laughs> you know? So... But I don't want you to get lost in that nonsense either. Again, guys, self-verify, self-verify. But there is an imprinting mechanism. It's been verified by science. Ross said this is one of the principles that would be verified by science, and it was verified during his lifetime. And he took a, you know, that was cool for him, you know, because, you know, you guys, you know, some of you that have, you know, the newer people, I get it, but some of the older people that are like, oh, can I get out? <laughs> Yeah, even Ra tried to get out, you know, if the legends are true, even he tried to burden the system. He didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> I mean, get the joke, guys. I mean, who wants to hear that they're not in charge of anything? That you never had a choice. That you don't have a choice. That you're just flying through space. So what happened? <laughs> Well, for 80 or 90,000 years, the mind was a great tool. <laughs> I mean, poor little mind, you know, I mean, but we're living in the hangover of that time. I mean, so this is where things like astrology, the I Ching, the Kabbalah, there were things that were outside of us that we could use to help verify what the hell was going on. Okay. I mean, we could self verify. Or, I'm sorry. We could use those things to help navigate. I, I apologize that there were things outside of us to help us now navigate, okay? But in 1781, there was a mutation, you know, in the human species from the seven centered in every yoga studio, you'll see your seven centered chakra thing that they're still bowing to and whatever. And hey, I come from a martial arts background. I honor these things. There's nothing wrong with them, but you're just not going to be able to follow anyone up the mountain. More importantly, now we're here to be differentiated, uh, a differentiated consciousness. And, and this nine-centered thing really is about us having our own authority. See, the seven-centered being was here to be led by the kings and the queens and the pharaohs and the, the Roman emperors and who the fuck ever. But right around 17, the 17, late 17, early 1800s, you're going to find a little event well, not one little event. I mean, so we were a species of, you know, follow the leader, you know, follow the king, listen to the whoever, right? Listen to the guru, okay? I mean, and the mind was good at figuring things out outside of itself. Well, right around the 1800s, you'll find things like the uh, French and American revolutions, <laughs> the age of Renaissance. I mean, dude, if, if you guys need a little verification, but it's like the whole planet woke up and said, hey, we're not your bitches anymore. <laughs> and we're, that's what human design is here. You're no one's bitch. Okay, so get it. I only care about one person, the person that's sitting in front of me and helping you get this for yourself. And understanding that following anything is called homogenization. 
you have your way and I can't even begin to tell you even if you gave me two weeks and paid me enough to work that much. I, I mean, I can't tell you where you're going. It could rock, okay? Get it. It's an experiment. Now, yes, it, human design is amazing. It reveals this connection between all these multiple systems, you know, quantum physics, biochemistry, genetics, astrology, the chakras, Kabbalah, the I Ching, neuroscience. I mean, neuroscience has already proven. I don't know in how many fucking libraries that we're making all this shit up. What we see, what we think, what we, these are just impulses in coming into our brain telling us that we should see or think that way. And guys, I need you to get this. It's like human design is about coming into your own body and becoming your own authority. And you guys all have one, okay? And as much as it's cool to see all the relations and stuff, none of this is going to help you. None of it. I mean, it may be interesting, and there are, there are those of you that may want to go down these roads. It may be correct for you. But if it's just your mind dragging you down, I mean, guys, you got to get it. This not-self-mind, it's an enemy. And the not-self-mind is the thing that thinks it thinks, if you're, anyone's unclear. Now, this is the incarnation wheel, and it just shows a few just basic concepts here. We're going to be looking, I mean, and that's the other thing, guys. This is an overview. Each of these things are going to be explored in more depth as we go along here, you know. <laughs> if John doesn't go insane and kill everyone before he gets it out, <laughs> because he, he, he he's done that before. <laughs> Again, I'm not doing it. I'm watching what this idiot called John Martin does. And he is a crazy little bastard. It makes no sense the way he lives, okay? But this is this is the machine, dude. And this is what every mystic has ever talked about. It's like the whole universe, it's just a machine. I mean, it was called Maya, you know, the illusion that we exist at all. That we are literally just being stamped out. Remember, I went back to the DNA, the 64 codon of the DNA, the 64 gates of the Ray B. Ching, planets, Carrying information through a neutrino, neutrino stream. Boom. They print your body, and then they print who you, you think you are. Now, in theory, it would have been nice if they were kind of more looking the same direction, but they're not. And, and I'll explain that more in a second. But just to get that you're in a universe that cares nothing about you. And I hate to destroy all your gods and your beliefs and everything, but I'm the destroyer of worlds. I don't care what you think. I don't care what I think. I don't care about mine, period. I'm the thing watching the insanity of this thing. Do you, do you get it, guys? It, it, it's called witness, awareness, passenger. I don't even think I have a choice. And this is what you're all up against. And that's a, that's a big pill to swallow. I'm not asking you to try to swallow it all today. But every bioform, every blade of grass, this is what's going on, guys. They're being imprinted and given life through the same molecule. And that molecule is called DNA. And it gives rise to all life from the same little chip. And it just happens to be how many activations that chip is going into. And then further than that, is if you can really take human design in, man, you better be carrying what we're gonna see here is the personality crystal that's been looking for the truth for the last 13 to 15 billion years, or you know, you know, 96 out of 100 people have no business touching this system. Okay, that's why it's so hard for me to watch, you know, what people are doing with it. I mean, this is my martial art. This is my dedication. It's not a self-help tool. Self-fucking destruction. It's here to destroy who you think you are so that you can be free of the human drama. And if I could show you what that looked like, I swear there are no, there's no rainbows. There's no butterflies. There's no nothing. <laughs> it's just, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> okay. <laughs> my body tells me what to do in my own specific way. And there's a guy in there going, okay, what are we doing now? <laughs> Usually bitching, okay, because I do have an emotional mind likes to bitch, you know, but thank God, you know. The yang 
that's who you think you are. And that's the stupid part of you that's trying to do something with it. The yin is the body. Again, this is the red. And then you guys, I mean, if, I don't think most people in human design even understand this basic principle of you've got two crystals of consciousness. But they're printed in different places at time, going different directions, wanting different things, looking at for so your soulmate is when these two things come together. They quit fighting with each other, man, and their head held together by yet another principle we're gonna look at deeply called the magnetic monopole, which is sitting right here in the chest. And that's the thing pulling you down your railroad track at the hundred and fifty thousand miles an hour. And that's the and and dude. Again, you know, here's my big gift to humanity. I can help you relax and accept what is going to happen to you. To see that it was never a problem. It's this yang personality crystal being pushed on by things that are not you that are pushing your mind into distortion where you actually believe that there is some problem, that something is wrong. And to be freed of that, to be freed of that pressure is amazing. To be able to just show up and take your ride. Take your ride, guys. Enjoy your ride. <laughs> okay. Now we get to the Johnny loves the acid trips. <laughs> My psycho trooping days are pretty much behind me. I'm not that I don't partake every now and then, but uh a lot of psychedelics helped. <laughs> I'm just going to admit that. You know, if they're correct for you, come see us in Hawaii. We'll help you. Um, but welcome to the illusion that you exist at all. Okay, now I've been talking about the life and your life as if, you know, this is you. But now I wanted you to step back even one more step. Okay, again, each of us got 13 unconscious activations. This is the body. This is the bioform. This is the life. It's going to happen with or without your consent. <laughs> the personality is the thing that's driving you nuts right now, pressured by all the openness. And, you know, I mean, it's really funny. I'm open emotional and I've got to deal with everybody through conflict. I mean, even a generator friend the other day was laughing about how I type because uh, it was like I was like punching people. And it was like it, it, it actually went in a little bit. I was like, you know, that's true. It's because I'm always fighting with people's fucking minds, <laughs> you know, and it basically this is the black in you pressured by the, the not self part of you. And, uh, you know, I've just kind of lost the ability to give a shit, um, which is nice. But guys, even the fact that you think you exist becomes the illusion. I mean, welcome to your 12 foot bubble that is part of the human species itself. You have just enough cognitive awareness to think that you think. And that's what I really do as a guy. You know, and I don't, I don't even analyze people anymore. It's not my trip, dude. I'm really a guy. And I, I help people live this, okay? I mean, I can show you the whys and whats. I know this stuff like no one's business. But one of the things you've got to come to is like, <laughs> this is not your life. This is the life. And you're just a cell in the light. And, and that seems to help people settle down a bit. It's like, oh, okay. And and I know that you think you have your problems. And I know that you think you have your bills. So do I. And, uh, you know, here I am again, once again, on Sundays, teaching for free, just like I have been. Well, at least in the islands, I've done it since the beginning. It's like, it's just my trip. I, I don't know. It's a... Uh, it's Malama the Aina, you know, give back to the island, give back to the people. This place takes care of me, man. <laughs> that trip to the mainland almost killed me. So, guys, this is the illusion that you exist at all, okay? The red bioform was printed three months, right? So there's your train trap. Ooh, three months before the passenger got here that thinks, Oh my God, I should be going that way. I should be going that way. I should be going that way. That's called astrology. Now wonder it sounds like you. Yeah, that's exactly who you think you are. And you're going to use some program to try to like figure it out. No, you've got internal guidance. Internal guidance here. Okay. There is no external looking for. 
the signs, the stars, the the alignments, the, the the serendipity. Dude, my whole life is serendipity. Now, I mean, there's nothing that's not a surprise. I mean, the constant state of once again, ah, uh, what's going on? I have no idea, <laughs> but I can help you get here too. <laughs> No fucking idea. <laughs> but don't put my trip on you. I won't put my trip on you know, or I, I won't put my trip on you. Don't try to put your trip on me. Because you will meet this thing you do not want. Okay? And that is my little cell. I'm like a white blood cell. And again, this is my chart, dude. I'm like a little white blood cell for bullshit, dude. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't want to sit here and read my chart because I barely care. But yeah, that I'm I'm here to see bullshit like no one's business. You know, I'm here to kill the weak, to protect the strong. And man, do not fuck with this machine, man. That's the part I don't have a choice about that part, dude. You you step on the viper, you're gonna get bit. It's that simple. And I'll argue with your mind to a point because I gotta wrestle everybody's mind to the ground. Okay, but I beat it into submission. I hold you in space and I, I show you that whatever you thought was your problem is just that, what you thought was your problem. Okay. But this is my little character in the movie and I want you to understand that I'm not over-identified with it anymore. It's why using the name John Martin is almost like I'm speaking about another person. I mean, Again, it's the thing I destroyed. I mean, the old John Martin was very attached to all of the, his accomplishments and what he thought he thought he knew and whatever. But the, this guy doesn't really have an opinion. You know, then you're healthy for me or not. Ah. That's, that's the end of my spreadsheet. <laughs> and I do not suffer fools. So before you pick up that book, and that's what I love is like everyone's out there trying to sell all their shit and get more and pumping out information, just blowing smoke and blowing smoke. They're making my job harder. But at the same time, if there's enough smoke, someone's going to find the fire. And that's what I have to offer is real fire. Okay. I mean, real fire. I ain't selling something I ain't got. I'm totally clueless on what I'm saying, even in this moment. <laughs> But I'm comfortable with it. <laughs> okay. So are we clear that the vehicle is all you really have? <laughs> okay. The personality is where your suffering begins. But we've got this thing called the mind. And now I'm talking to the conscious mind. I'm not talking about the unconscious, you know, deep gray areas where there's all sorts of things that you don't know about going on. I'm talking about the thing that thinks it thinks. The thing that thinks it has problems. The things that think that you need to be fixed. Hey, guys, you don't need to be fixed. You're perfect. What you need is a huge excavation process. I mean, there's nothing to add here. Nothing. It's that you're dragging all this shit around and you're destroying your vehicle in the process. You're just creating drag for yourself. You're creating your own suffering. And the second you can actually get to that place, and this is not an easy place to get to, guys. It's going to take you at least seven years to clear the bullshit out of the truck and another seven years to trust that the truck knows where it's fucking going. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like you were seven, you know, zero to seven. You had to learn, you know, what it was to be a human being, and then you had to learn how to live like that. I mean, at first I have to deal with people with their not selves. Okay, what we call the not self and all the things that you think you think and whatever you think is wrong and your partner's an asshole and you hate your job and yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe it's all true and, and but, you know, we'll find out, you know, because nothing survives fire. Guys, and this is fire. You've come to buy. You're here, you're here for fire. And fire does not negotiate. And nothing does not burn. Okay. So if you're inviting me, you understand you're inviting fire, not fluff, okay? But your mind tries to bring everything along. And again, this is like trying to mountain bike in a snowsuit. It's like, it's just drag, dude. It's like, what a drag. Your ideas, your beliefs, your fucking opinions. Oh, God, your opinions and what you think. Do you understand just the frequency of that hurts my body? It offends my body. 
Yeah. <laughs> I am on the stream of taste. I just got nauseous. <laughs> the thought of, of all the ideas, concepts, and beliefs that are out there, and they all have one thing in common. More, more money, more power, more sex, more love, fix you. The entire insidious fucking place we call the spiritual marketplace, which poor human design has become victim to. <laughs> and you got a bunch of idiots just trying to sell shit they ain't got. Okay, again, you're looking for the people that go, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> and I'm scared too. <laughs> or at least amused <laughs> by what may be happening. So we get to the, yet another example, okay? So the mind I'm talking about, or the mind I was just talking about and all the shit it's lugging along with you is not your design, guys. It's not the red or the black. It's not the bioform, the life, and it's not the passenger that's just here to go. Wow, this is rad. <laughs> I can't believe it works. <laughs> I still can't believe it works. I can't believe I get away with what I get away with. The shit I say to people. And yes, they cry, but then they just start laughing their asses off. I mean, it's like, it's always the mind. It's this conscious mind that is always wanting to grab something, hang on to something, get anything that it knows that it knows because it's, it's, it's terrifying. Okay, it's the conscious mind. It's the gift and curse of self-reflected consciousness. Now you'll hear it called in human design, the not self mind, okay? And other spiritual traditions, you'll hear it called the egoic mind. And, and um, you know, but, but it, it's the thing that thinks it thinks, okay? It, the pain body is another thing that, you know, but it's just where you're here to be witness to, okay? And one of the things I've noticed is, you know, as human design has expanded, it's like, you know, every time somebody asks a question and a teacher answers it, they're basically saying, I know better than you. I mean, I know it's not intentional, but they're basically reinforcing outer authority. Now, it's not that I never, well, I rarely get questions at the end of anything because everybody's like, well, if I asked a question now, I'd feel stupid. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my dojo. <laughs> But if there is a question, it's usually the mind trying to grab a hold of something, and I can show you that. And then we can look at the whys of maybe you're asking that. Or if something you think is a problem, your mind goes, but that may be me. And it's got the same sort of whiny-ass little voice. See, life force comes before you think. I want you to get that. Life force is before you think. Once it's been processed by the neocortex, it becomes the not-self mind. And it might as well be a kid screaming in my ear and scratching on chalkboards. I mean, it sounds like, it tastes and sounds like shit. I mean, literally just processed garbage versus like spring water of life force. And as a projector, this is my gift to be able to, phew, I can hear it. I'm like, oh, that's you, that's on. That's you, that's on. I mean, I'm negating everything. Negate, negate, negate. That might be something. Negate, negate. But this is what you got to learn to do for yourself. Okay? You guys all have a way. It's not my way. I'm sharing you with you my way because today we're talking about what, what human design really is. I'm not giving you a class on all these stuff. We'll get there for the few of you that can actually hear me and hang around, which will probably end up being my students anyway, but everyone else will run for what they want. You know, how do I get my next cookie? <laughs> I want a cookie. Do you also want a pony? <laughs> I love, I love that. People call me with their list of I wants. <laughs> well, I want this and I want this and I want this and I, and I need you to address that. And it's like, well, do you also want a fucking pony? <laughs> I mean, what do you want me to do for you guys? Uh, what you think you want is your problem. See, the enemy of the unique being is your mind. And the, it's the spokesperson. I'm talking about the monologues and dialogues in your head, you know? The monologues and dialogues in your head are not you. You can't work on the colors. 
You can't work on the white either, but we'll get there. <laughs> You can't, those of you that have been working on yourselves for the last 20 years, what you're basically saying to me is you've been working on not you. Okay. You've been working on trying to stabilize something that's never going to stabilize. And so you can keep paying for your emotional workshops or your self-help whatevers or your want to be contra this or whatever. And if any of these things are correct for you for your own authority, please do them. You know, I'm not saying this is the only tool for self-actualization, but it's the not-self mind that thinks it has a problem, and that's what I need you to get. Those are the voices talking in your head. Those are the only things that can think that there's something wrong. And remember, the passenger doesn't even know where it's headed on the best day. Then we add the pressure of all this homogenization over here, you know? And this homogenization is, you know, this is everything white in your chart. It's not just the centers. And it's not, you know, it's not the, um, you know, it's every channel, it's every gate, it's everything white. And it, some of it may even be you. I mean, this is, you know, part of the personality. Some of it may even be you. But you don't know where you're going. And you're being pressured by the, this shit that's just flooding your neocortex. All these frequencies are flooding, okay? telling you to think whatever. <laughs> My MG over here just can't sit still. It's, it's really cute. It's killing me. <laughs> the passenger is lost on the best day. You start adding the pressure of, you know, emotions that aren't yours or, or thoughts that aren't yours or or in your design, your splits, or, or your inability to do anything except watch and witness. And all of a sudden, you're up against, you know, again, the most insidious thing in the world. The world of, the, the, the deepest world of delusion is the world of spiritual self-help. I mean, it's the deepest, it's Maya, the goddess of illusions, last stand, motherfuckers. You're doing something. You can do something. You have some choice. Follow the leader. Go to your group. Sit in circles and jerk off. Nobody wakes up in a group. You can't follow anyone. You each have your own path to the top of your own mountain. And you're the only one that can tell me what that looks like. And you're the only one that can verify when you're there. And if you come around me for any sort of guidance or to be involved with me at any level, you're going to find out real quick, that's all I care about. I'll help you with the mechanics all day long as they serve your verification, self-verification that, oh my God, this all this is all an illusion. And piece by piece, the not you starts to drop or it at least starts to have less of an effect on you. It doesn't allow or, or influence your decisions anymore. And you get to become... <laughs> Whatever the hell is in there. <laughs> or at least witness the same. Maybe that's a better way of saying it. Okay. But guys, homogenization is birthdays, Christmas, everything you're supposed to do, doing something nice for someone, being a good person. My God, my this, my that. Fuck all of it. I mean, I think it's hilarious that we're broadcasting on it, our first thing on April Fool's. I had no idea. <laughs> I teach on Sundays. It took us a year to build the studio. I'm here. Everyone's like, and then I found out it was just a few days ago it was Easter, which is some other stupid stolen pagan holiday. And for the just for the record, this was the pagan holiday of let's fuck. Okay. <laughs> it's when the different tribes came together to mix the gene pool. Okay. And uh, those of you that are familiar with the term Beltane will understand that, okay? And then you can make a commitment to a lover for a year, unless either one of you changed your minds. <laughs> I, now, that's a relationship. That's the type of relationship I could wrap my hands around. But uh, uh, it, it, even that might be a bit much for me. But guys, do you get it? What you're struggling with now, you're just simply here to help slowly and surely self-verify over time, okay? That it's not, you're not doing it, it's doing you, okay? 
and your mind, those monologues and dialogues, and that your mind wanting to know something just to settle that down is everyone that's trying to sell you anything, including human design, to fix yourself, okay? Every time you ask a question, I will point you right back to you. It's so different, guys. It's so different. I teach it like a martial art. It's taken me to a place that I can't even believe existed. How can you not try? And your life, <laughs> I mean, my life is still chaos, guys. I mean, my life is fucking chaos. I have to kill people constantly. I have to destroy things, yell at people. I mean, you know, it breaks my heart, but I'm on the quarter of mutation, man. I'm on the ending side of that, man. I'm here to kill, to remove weak links. Suffer no idiots, you know? And um, so then we get back to you and where you can, uh, you guys can all begin because I know this is, uh, you know, I'm talking to you from a place that I, not only did I not know exist, I can barely believe it's happened. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't believe it. <laughs> Hang on, let me catch myself. I don't. <laughs> And when I'm doing that, that is me looking at my mind. I'm like, uh, no, I don't believe you. <laughs> I believe here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm not, you know, I'm not immune to it. It's going. It's insane. You know, it's part of its trip. Each of you have an aura strategy, and it's a very specific way in which your 12-foot bubble is flying through space. It's how your bubble works, okay? These are mechanics you can start to watch. Again, if you have the cognitive bandwidth to even take the zip file that's going to break down the neocortex into realizing, oh shit, I've ended up where every mystical tradition has taught, said, you know, the, if the Buddha existed, you know, truly I have attained absolutely nothing, nothing from total enlightenment. <laughs> yeah. I get it, dude, <laughs> but I don't give a shit what you said either. <laughs> I verify this, okay? But this is something you can work with. You can see how your bubble interacts with all of other bubbles. You can see your open centers. It, that's is where we begin, but later it becomes everything you don't think is you. Or, I mean, everything that's white in that chart, your neocortex, the thing that has been running the life for the last 80, 90,000 years, the thing that was here to perceive something missing right in your chart as a problem and goes to work doing what mind is good at, trying to fix the fucking problem. Mind did not get the memo. Somebody forgot to give mind the memo. It's not, <laughs> there's nothing broken, so there's nothing to fix. And you could work on this openness till the end of, you, end of your life and it's not going to do you any good. And then there's an authority, okay? And this is the most important thing for you guys. I mean, you get your aura and your authority, even the open centers become, and, and there's also some cognitive stuff that I can show you about how, exactly how that pressures the personality and mind function. I can show you. I mean, it's mechanical. Guys, please get it. When I say, I am keep using the word, word mechanical because this is just some machine with a, an awareness that's looking out of the eyes watching. These mechanics help self-verify, verify for yourself, for those of you that are still a little slow on the uptake, that you're not doing any of it, okay? And how your authority works in your form. I mean, what is form consciousness? This is what we're here. The old being was here to watch the stars or follow the guru or do the yoga or whatever. And not that there's anything wrong. I mean, I, you know, I have no problem with any of these things. If everyone would just shut up about what they think about them, you know, I mean, the body arts, you know, I, I'd go to Qigong if they'd shut up. <laughs> I do my own Kung Fu Qigong. It was part of my life for a long time. I mean, it's, nobody's there. I don't have to listen to anybody's stupidity except my own. But there's a place in your body that knows, guys, it knows. It knows what's good for you, it knows what's not. 
but it's exactly going to be counterintuitive to everything that you've ever learned. You cannot learn human design in a book. I had both the gift and curse of having very little information. You know, I mean, I, I was teaching human design with what less information than I give people generally in a first overview. I was teaching this art, okay? With less than, you know, is available on my website for free, okay? Because I was actually doing it, or it was doing me, and it was happening. And I was, I was at my picnic table, and people kept showing up. I mean, 20 years later, or 17, 18 years later, somebody's built me a studio. I, I don't have to go to a coffee shop anymore. You know. But I'm doing this, all of this I'm doing because it's healthy for me, guys. It's healthy for me. I love it with such a passion. I don't even know what to do with the people that think, well, why don't you go surfing first? Or why don't you do take care of yourself first? Because I love this more than anything. I love what I get to do. Oh, my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. I can only work with one human a day. <laughs> I do have that limitation. <laughs> it takes every ounce of blood, sweat, and tears that I have to pour into you, to show you, you know, this is this and that's that. And now quit being a dumbass and get it for yourself. And you ask me that question again, I'm going to hit you upside the head. Now, those of you that work with me know that a one-on-one, -on -one, I really do have a way of sliding in there and, and not being, you know, too, too harsh with you, it, unless you really need it. And then I'm not afraid to, you know, again, I'm not here for student retention. I'm looking for those beings, those four out of a hundred beings that might even be able to possibly hear what I'm saying. You know, I don't have more for sale. I have me. And uh, I'm limited, very limited in my projector energy to one person a day. And any more than that would be me pushing and I can't even pretend to push anymore. I'm to the point where I can't even pretend to try to do or want or think or anything. Are you guys ready for that? What does it mean to be the end of wanting or needing or thinking something's wrong even? I mean, there's people that are unhealthy for me. They get thrown out of my life. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> guys, human design is a map. It's a map. Okay? But it is not the territory. I can help you understand the map. Those of you that I'm, I'll end up training to be guides to please carry on the real human design. I mean, this may be one of the last places on earth it's available, <laughs> as far as I can tell, at least. I mean, I'm not saying you, there aren't a, great, a lot of great teachers that know a lot of information, okay? But that is so much different than me actually jumping in the shit with you in training. Okay, they may people may know the system inside and out. You know, I couldn't give a fuck less. I can look in your eyes and I can tell whether or not you think you're doing something, or you know that you're not. And there is only one human. There's only a few humans on this planet who I can look in their eyes and they actually scare me. It frightens the mind to see passenger consciousness because there's nothing there. And the mind fears nothing. So I can help you with the map. I know more human design than most people, and it just bleeds out of my cells, and I have no idea what I'm saying. Okay? I have no idea what I'm saying right now. But I'm here to help you explore the territory. I need you to become the pilgrim, you know? The idiot child that returns the wise sage. I need you to take your own journey here, you know? And that's why I don't do the too many technical whatevers with anybody. I, I just won't get into it. Because you can't understand it until you get here. Now I can look at stuff. Oh, my God, there is one... Um, uh, there is one holistic view that... One of my, one of the only people I trust in human design put together for me. <laughs> She's on my website. <laughs> it's Teresa Blandy. 
It was like the and, and showed me my own and showed me a holistic view of my own mystical path. But if you had shown me that before I got here, I wouldn't know what the hell you were talking about, and I would have been trying to do it. And that's what I see here is like, guys, I don't care about the map. I care about the territory. Yes, you very well may be a lot of these things that show up in the map, but you'll understand very quickly that it's only your truth that matters. This is about being your own authority, nothing else, okay? I mean, that's it. It's becoming your own authority. That means that nobody, nobody on this planet gets to tell you or say to you anything they can ask. I mean, we're all waiting. Even manifestors are waiting. I hope you get that. I mean, they're waiting to be pushed by the stars. Jesus. I don't know how to get off lost on that trip. And you guys can pretend you're responding until you can't pretend that anymore. And I can pretend I'm being invited until I... I mean, I'm not saying don't pretend you're doing it. Which takes us to our next slide. So remember the yang side of this, the personality crystal, the word, the thing that can watch. Yes, awareness, vigilance. I can really help you with this, you know. I am a warrior. I teach like a warrior. I come from a lineage of warriors that goes back to the beginning of the beginning as far as I can tell, or I'm so deluded it's just part of my insanity. Who cares? It's all the same thing to me. I don't care. Am I, am I Aragon charging the Black Gates or am I Don Quixote fighting windmills? Who cares? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, really, who cares? I'm having fun. <laughs> but on the part where your mind's trying to figure anything out, yes, I can watch this. And so, many, so much of the, my time with you guys is spent now, the people especially that have shown up from all these other teachers that think you can do something, and I really am speaking to what the self-help marketplace is, or just the, the the continual, you know, dispersion of more and more information. And I mean, it's no fault, no blame. I don't give a shit, but but it's just making you more confused. But every time you can see something, the homogenized pressure to be nice that you still want to be recognized as a projector or you're frustrated as a generator and, and you see it and your mind's gonna come in and it's gonna make human design into a problem. Like you're supposed to be perfect at this already. It's, dude, you're trying to rebuild your entire bioform in the middle of your fucking life. You're trying to escape the entity you were taught to trust since birth. You're trying to destroy everything you think and everything everybody else fucking thinks so that you can get to your own truth and become witness to your life. Now that takes some courage. That takes awareness and it takes vigilance. And But every time you see it, so what? You do something because you were pressured to do it, but you know, you saw it, you're becoming aware. Pretty soon you just won't be able to, guys. Don't make it a problem. Understand, passenger consciousness is seeing, oh my God, I'm flying through space in a 12-foot bubble. Yes, I'm pressured like this. I'm pushed like this. I'm done like this. Oh my God. It, that is happening to me. That is you verifying for yourself all those monologues and dialogues that are running through your head telling you this is a fucking problem. Aren't you anyway? <laughs> and slowly but surely, you know, you you will align, guys. I mean, this is this is the this is the thing that I really want to get to you is that you will align to this now if it's for you. If you have the right cognitive architecture, if you have the personality crystal that's old enough to even really hear what I'm saying. But these mechanics that you're studying today become the things that you go are going on. Oh my God, I can't fucking believe it. Years from now. I mean, it's hilarious. I mean, some of the shit that I looked up, I mean, that I had forgotten about, I was like, oh my God, that's me. Oh shit, fuck. <laughs> but every time you see that you're, you're being pressured, that your mind's got you, that it's trying to figure something out, every time you see it, that is the passenger consciousness awakening in you guys. 
That is the passenger, okay? Now the form is a whole different deal, and that's where you know we really get into the mechanics of the auras and your authorities, okay? And I'm gonna be doing that, we're gonna to get to that. Today I wanted to talk to you just about the awareness and what this really is, man. I can help you with the yang personality crystal. The yin body is going where it's going. Again, I can just help the yang relax and take its ride and quit trying to jump out of the, the window of the train or screaming and banging its head against the wall going, I wanna go that way with a train that's going this way. Yelling at the conductor, he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> you know, it's like, don't worry. There's this thing in your chest that's, it's got you, baby. <laughs> and you ain't getting out. And your death is stamped just like your life was stamped. So, you know, I wish you all a good death. I mean, and that's the other thing is I don't care. <laughs> Dude, I'm not afraid to die. I wish for it. <laughs> I mean, I'm totally fine if you unplug me today. I mean, there's nothing left. I get to show up here and have fun. I get to talk to the collective and be insane. I'm back in Hawaii, which is good for the world because I'm less pissed off, less often. <laughs> Being in the regular world where everyone was in a hurry to do God knows what, <laughs> it, was, it was like, it was in a little bitty mountain town. It's like, there's only one road. Where are you guys, where are you guys hurrying to? It was a very strange. You know, at least the vibe out here, more people are, at least the people I interact with are cruising in a much different frequency. I mean, there's just much more a natural attunement to life. You know, we live with the seasons and I get up with the sun. I, I go to bed when it gets dark. I mean, it's just my life. You know, it's, it's much more, you know, um, a pagan, you know, natural. And, and pagan just means natural life. The part I can't help you with, guys. The part I cannot prepare you for. The part I can be counsel, you know. I can verify, yeah. But nothing can, can prepare you for the biggest nothing of all. And that's you coming to the own verification that you aren't doing any of this that you have truly become a passenger, a witness to your life. I mean, nothing can prepare you for this. It's the end of the human drama. That's why even the term enlightenment is such a silly term to me. Endarkment would make more sense because there's nothing there. It's the end of the human drama. It's the end of you thinking you think anything. It's actually a mutation within the neocortex to realizing, <laughs> This has all been happening this whole time, and I've been suffering under whatever fucking madness I've been suffering. Thinking something's wrong, trying to figure something out. That's another thing, I mean, because so many of the teachers in, in, this, in this field came from either self-help, marketing, spiritual guru type backgrounds. I mean, they want to break you so they can fix you or self-improve you so they can sell you some more shit, guys. Just look for it. See it. See it like I do. Now, if you know your own authority and you light up to any of that nonsense, you go right ahead. And I don't mean that it's all nonsense. I'm just saying that the, the marketplace itself is, it, it's the most insidious the darkest, dankest bullshit. And I understand why Rod did not want to be part of the new age self-help world and how it became of um, how to get more money, love, sex, and power. I know how. The tribe, it's an organism. You know, I'm not tribal. I've suffered a lot more under not being tribal than any of my open centers. It's like, no, dude, I, money, sex, and power mean nothing to me. Hence, I survive, I share. Here I am. The part I can't prepare you for is this. And that's when you really start to have the first glimpses of what true awareness is. There's nothing there, man. It's the, hum it's the end of the human drama, and I'm not saying it's the end of you. It's the end of you being identified with you <laughs> and what you think. So guys, 
this is the trip I'm offering, man, you know, and, and I'm going to teach publicly for as long as I feel like teaching publicly. Okay. But I've been on so many long journeys and I've helped others with theirs, you know. I've seen what happens. I've seen the hell that people have to go through. I mean, anybody that tells you this is going to be some easy, fun, nice trip, I mean, truly, guys, please just... Just understand, please just remember I'm saying here, John Martin is saying, this is self-destruction. It's the destruction of everything that you think you think so you can be free of all of that. And then you can open yourself to what is truly the gift of all of this knowledge. And that is real awareness. You don't need to worry about your life. You don't need to worry about the other. You can do what's correct for you, and then what's in your design can truly be empowering, supportive, helpful, sharing in the right ways that are correct for you, okay? But until that time, it's just minds talking to other minds, and, oh, it's the dark side of the force to me. I mean, <laughs> and I don't want to make yin right and yang wrong because they both have to, you do, it's got to be the middle path, guys. I mean, this is the alignment of both the yin and the yang inside of you. And you coming to grips with, wow, it's just a ride and I've never had any choice. And only my mind is suffering. And if you guys are game for that discussion, I'm going to be here on Sundays. The ones I make it. <laughs> Aloha from the islands.